Now whilst looking for diamonds I did pick up lots of things along the way. The first thing that I saw were some plants, okay, and I remembered that some plants can be used to make things like rubber or even fabrics. Now it's not as expensive as a diamond or a special, but I did remember that fact and they do look very pretty. I also found this. A snail shell. Now thankfully it's vacant, there's nobody actually living inside of that anymore. But it's very light, I think it would easily break. It is waterproof so the snail wouldn't get wet if he was inside there, which is one benefit. Not a diamond but it's, it is quite interesting. I found lots of little wooden sticks which I remembered you can use to make paper, card or even furniture. These are some of the rocks I found. This one is so hard and dense. It's not pliable, it's not bendy, but I did wonder whether you could use this one to make metal because it is so strong. And then these were my favorite ones. Now this one is very nice. It's really pretty, it's got lots of patterns on there. It's a little bit sparkly, but it's not a diamond, but I did, I am going to keep those because I think they're really pretty. I might even put those in my fish tank. Now, as you can see, they've got lots of different colors on there and sparkles are really strong. You can't break them. They are waterproof, they're not going to absorb water, but unfortunately they're not diamonds. You might use some of those in your jewelry still, like for a nice necklace or bracelet. I also found on my hunt a rabbit. Now thankfully this rabbit is not a material, but a long time ago, people actually used the fur of animals to make materials. And some people still do that now, like leather, which is made from cow skin. Now this rabbit, Thankfully, he's not going to be a material anytime soon. So with no luck outside, I then took my hunt inside and I found these really nice necklaces. Now, this necklace has got stones all the way around it, just like the stones that I found earlier, although these are a little bit different in colour. Then finally, I found some diamonds. Now, they weren't diamonds in the mud, but they were diamonds I found in my house. A beautiful, pretty and sparkly ring. I wonder if it's expensive. I can't believe that these diamonds in here actually come from the earth and that people really sometimes find them. 